great good night with you is like a gift. Nina, I love gifts. You get to open them and then play. That's right, Star. Getting gifts is very exciting. But did you know that giving a gift, like to a friend on their birthday, can also be exciting? Really, Nina? That's right. And what would you say if I told you that I had a Sandy gift for you right now? I would say it's very exciting. It's time to sprout a Sandy story. Once a sprout a time, there was a little boy named Al, and it was his birthday. Everybody was busy getting ready for Al's party. Yay! I love parties! Al's family was from a country called Mexico and spoke both English and Spanish. In Al's family, they always have a piñata at birthday parties. What's that, Nina? A piñata is a paper decoration. It's filled with small toys and treats. And Al's birthday piñata was in the shape of... A horse! Wow, Nina. But how do they get the treats out of it? Oh, well, everyone took turns hitting it with a stick to try to break it open. And when the treats fall to the ground, they can all share them. That sounds so fun! But Al didn't want to break the horse open. He loved the way it looked so much. He wanted to stop the game. Then what happened? Well, it was too late to stop the game. All of his friends were starting to play. When it was Al's turn, he took a swing and crack! He hit the piñata in just the right spot. All the candies and toys were falling into a huge pile around him. Whoa! That is so cool! Al realized that the best part of his birthday piñata was that he could share it with all of his family and friends. And now we have something very important to do. We need to feed our underwater friend Hush the Fish. Here's his fish food! Thanks, Star. Yeah! And how much food do we give him? Just a pinch. There you go, Hush. Oh, he's eating it. Now that it's getting close to bedtime, we have another important job to do. Next up, time to clean up. It's my job to help. That's right, Star. Do you like to put things away for the night before bed, too? <gasps> Me, too. Let's put our toys neatly away so we know where to find them the next day. Oh, that's great, Star. You know, rhyming and singing can make cleaning up more fun. Get your toys up off the floor. Doodly, doodly, do. Put them in a box or put them in a drawer. Doodly, doodly, do. Put your things where they belong. Sing our nightly cleanup song. Bit by bit and one by one. Until you're done. If you make a mess, clean it up and 